Hey guys, Vladimir here. I've got a quick tutorial for you today. Uh, it's something I just learned and I'm pretty excited about sharing it with you because what's the point of hoarding knowledge, right? So here we go. I'll explain the problem and then uh, I'll show you the solution. Uh, but before that, I really have to say a huge thanks to the people here at the Autodesk forum. Um, so if you go to the Fusion 360 forum, uh, you can see actually I went ahead and posted uh, the problem I was having here and then just about an hour later I already had several response. So a uh, huge thanks to the guys here. They're very helpful um, guys and gals. Uh, they're very helpful um, in answering questions you have. So make sure to take uh, advantage of them. Uh, so all right, let's go to my problem. So basically what I wanted to do uh, is to go ahead and create a sketch or create a polygon extrude that polygon and then have the ability to go back and modify the number of sides and the diameter so I'll show you I'm gonna to go to sketch create a sketch uh, choose my XY plane and grab my circumscribe polygon tool here and I'm gonna create a polygon um, give it a sure uh, radius of 22 millimeters I'm gonna hit tab and I'll keep this as a six sides to make it a hexagon. Now I'm going to stop that, click, and extrude this up to seven millimeters. Okay, at this point, I wanted the ability to go back and say, you know what, I really wanted to make this uh, an octagon or, you know, I need it to be a pentagon now. So there's no way to do that, right? If I go back to my um, sketch here, uh, I can't change the number of sides. I can try clicking on this little icon here, but nothing happens. Once you create your polygon and you declare the number of sides, that's basically it. Uh, now I can change the diameter, right, by clicking on these two ends here and changing that. I can make it 50, for example, and that'll um, update. But I can't do anything with the number of sides. So a way I thought I could, okay, go ahead and, um, and fix that is to use uh, parameters here. So um, let me take this off for now just to show you how I got it. So if I go to modify, go down to change parameters, I'm going to click this little arrow to add it back to my toolbar. So if I click on this, I get this little dialog box that says user parameters, and it gives me this little plus sign. So I can click on that and add my own parameters. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and enter... Uh, diameter for one and keep the units as millimeters but you have the ability to change it and let's say I'm gonna answer 70 for my diameter I'm gonna add one more and I'm gonna call this one uh, let's say number of sides and this one's not gonna have uh, any units so I'm gonna click on this and go no units right it's just a number and the expression let's make it eight so I'm going to click OK. All right, so we see we have listed uh, user parameters. We have one that's called diameter, and we have one that's called number of sides, uh, and 70 and 8, respectively. So we'll click OK, and let's try drawing that uh, polygon again with using those parameters. So let's just go back to that sketch. I'm going to click here on my timeline. And I'm going to draw, let's draw one more here. So I'm going to go to sketch polygon, uh, circumscribe polygon. We'll draw this. Uh, I'm going to first, whoops, uh, forgot to hit tab. So we'll do that again. Um, polygon. Um, I'm going to come back and answer my diameter because I don't want to work with radius right now. So I'm going to hit tab. And instead of the number, I'm going to enter, I'm going to type in, um, not dumb, num, uh, number of sides. So if I start writing it in, you see it uh, automatically pops up. So I'm going to hit enter. And notice how that automatically changed to eight sides because that's what I had as my uh, number of sides in that parameter. So I'm going to hit enter. And for my diameter, I'm going to go in and enter uh, diameter, which I gave it and hit answer for that and it gave me my 70. so that worked out great right uh, here these were my parameters 70 for diameter eight for number of sides okay now let's go ahead and stop that sketch we'll make it visible and let's extrude this up so we'll go ahead and make that seven millimeters as well 
Okay, now let's say I want to change this to a pentagon. So I'll grab that user defined parameter, go back to my number of sides, give that five, and let's go ahead and move this over so you can see it. Um, so I'm going to hit five, but nothing happens. See how this doesn't update? Uh, I can try to make it 12, nothing happens. Uh, my diameter will update, so I can go and make this 40, for example. Um, and notice how that shrunk. So that works fine. We'll try 100. Yeah, that updates. The only thing that doesn't update is my number of sides. Um, so how do we fix that problem? Okay, so here's uh, the solution that was pointed out to me. So let's go back to that sketch and try this one more time. But let's go ahead and draw a circle here. And uh, I'll just give it any diameter for now. Um, next, we're going to hit L and we're going to draw a triangle. So we're going to make sort of a little pizza slice here. And we're going to hit D for dimension. And let's make this angle between these two sides. Uh, we're going to, instead of answering a number, we're going to enter an equation. So that equation is going to be 360 divided by number of sides. So I'm going to start typing that in and then grab it and hit enter. We can see that change to a function and it's saying it's a function and the degree is 30. Now why 30? Well because if we bring in our parameters dialog box we could see that number of sides is set to 12 and 360 divided by 12 is 30. So what happens if we change that to 6? Well that angle changes to 60 because uh, 360 divided by 6 is 60. So that's working great. Um, let's go ahead and also apply that diameter uh, parameter. So we'll make this, uh, instead of giving it a number, we're going to call that diameter. Choose it, hit enter, um, bring back our dialog box, and let's change that from 100 to 200. And that updates beautifully back down to 75 all right so that works um, okay now what we're going to do is let's make everything a construction line besides this line here so I'm gonna go ahead and click X on the circle as well as my pizza here and I'm just gonna leave this line here intact I'm gonna grab this angle and move it down so it's out of the way okay here's the magic so I'm gonna go ahead and create a circular pattern here and I'm going to choose my object. That's going to be my line. And my center point is going to be either my cent. I can choose my center or my perimeter here of my circle. And for quantity, I'm going to make that number of sides. So I'm going to grab that parameter again and click OK. So now if I bring back my dialog box, uh, for number of sides, I can now change that. So if I change that to 8, Look how that updates. I'm going to change that uh, to 5. I have my pentagon. So let's click OK. So that's working great in the sketch level. Let's see how it works in the modeling level. So let's go ahead and stop this and we'll extrude this up uh, 7 millimeters. I'm going to hide sketches. OK, so bring back that dialog box again. Uh, let's look at this. And let's try changing this. So let's make it 4. See what happens. Look at that. We get a square. Uh, go back to 8, go back to 12. Beautiful. Now let's try changing our diameter. So we'll make this, uh, let's, uh, shrink it down to 30. Look at that. Make it 100. Beautiful. So here isn't, I mean, that's just perfect. Um, so now we have the ability to just change the shape and the diameter by simply going and choosing uh, parameters but um, the big thing there was to instead of using the polygon tool you uh, create a circle uh, or a circular pattern um, you know give it the uh, equation that I used and that's a very quick way um, to go around this problem so all right guys I hope you uh, enjoyed this uh, for more tips like this make sure to subscribe and again huge thanks to the wonderful people at the Autodesk forum who helped me out with this problem um, you guys make sure to check that out uh, it's a great resource uh, all right guys take care